Okay, hi everybody, it's Coffee Ketchup here. Uh, today we're doing a video of Tom Clancy's Hawks uh, 1 on PC with a triple screen setup. So I'm doing the Rio de Janeiro mission uh, flying the F 15C. Like most of the missions in this game, I think it's mainly. Uh, I don't really know what the story is. I just think it's shoot down a whole bunch of airplanes and then blow up a whole bunch of tanks. Uh, this is going to be the first video I've made uh, with the triple screen setup. I chose it just because I think flight sims are one of the games. Not that this is a sim. Obviously, it's very arcadey, but it's uh, you know I think that flight games are one of the types of game that benefit most from having the three screens. I think it's uh, very cool and very immersive. So there's a bunch of planes we're going to shoot at them. So this game is a pretty silly game. It's much like uh, Ace Combat. Uh, and that it's very arcadey. As you can see there, I've got a 160 missiles and, and 48 other missiles. And it's got some uh, ridiculous story about uh, private military contractors taking over the world or something like that. I don't really pay attention to it. I'm going to try and take out uh, as many of these planes as I can before I switch over to blowing up these ships. You can command your wingman to watch out for you or to uh, attack your targets or whatever. Alright, let's take out some of these boats. So one of the things with this, um, okay, I'm not going to shoot at that one right now. They're in the, they're hidden behind the tall buildings, so uh, they're a little trickier to destroy. Let's take out some more of these boats first. Shot at. You heard the man reaper fight. Hit him with everything you've got. Transport ship approaching Potapoga Beach to unload heavy armor. I do like the way with the, uh, the three screens here. You can see targets off to the side really well. Um, that normally wouldn't be in your field of view. Okay, so here's a tank. It's hidden behind the buildings. We're going to use this, this goofy mode that they have in here. to. It's going to make a special path for us to follow right to the... If I can stay in it, which seems easy. There we go. So that's... Uh, it's one of their main features in this game. Take out a few more of these boats. So normally in a, <coughs> excuse me, normally when I'm playing a game with three monitors, I like to tweak the field of view a bit uh, if it lets you. I like to make it a little more narrow than the default triple monitor view, just because at the edge you get the, the really pronounced. Uh, stretching from sort of the fisheye effect of having a really wide field of view. Um, typically, most games will have a, a CFG file or something that you can configure the FOV in. In this game, I haven't been able to find it, uh, so I basically just get whatever field of view they give me. However, uh, they do, uh, you know, this is one of the few games that does a really nice job of supporting triple monitors right out of the box. All I had to do was pick my resolution in the game menu, and we're good to go.
Okay, so I'm gonna try and take out another one of these tanks. So one thing I would like is a uh, a really good uh, flight sim to play now that I do have the triple screen set up. Uh, these these games and the Ace Combat games, you know, I've played through them already a couple of years ago when they came out on, uh, on Xbox or PlayStation 2 uh, or whatever, but uh, I'm looking for something a bit better. When I was a kid, we had F-19 Stealth Fighter and stuff like that, and while that wasn't exactly, um, wasn't exactly a flight simulator per se, you know, at least you had a realistic loadouts in your plane and, you know, you had missions that weren't quite as, as goofy as these. Um, so I haven't tried Lock-On Modern Air Combat, that one looks pretty good. Um, I saw... I think it's called DCS A10 Warthog. That looks maybe like a full-time job just to learn how to play that game. So I don't know. I guess I'm looking for something uh, sort of a happy medium. But I guess I'll keep looking. I did. Uh, I did play a little bit of uh, you know back towards. Uh, more arcadey games. I did play a little bit of War Thunder, which is a, a decent looking World War II free to play um, flight game, though I, I don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna hold my interest. Multiple bandits denied by our lead. I'll probably do a future video um, just about FOV and, and different uh, multi-monitor setups um, with a game where we can where we can tweak that stuff on the fly. Maybe Skyrim. Uh, this game doesn't uh, really give us many options in that department. I haven't really been listening to what the uh, what the guys on the radio are saying here, but I suspect they probably want me to shoot down these A7s. Weapon Let's go up and take a look at the Jesus statue. Well, we've got a chance here. There he is. Oh. Got to get a better look than that. That's one uh, one thing I really like in this game is the, uh, the environments are absolutely gorgeous. And this is quite an old game. I'm not sure what year this came out. It's got to be 2000. And Seven or 2008. I don't know. It's uh, I picked it up recently on Steam for dirt cheap, uh, and Hawks 2 also for dirt cheap. I may do a Hawks 2 video as well. I haven't uh, haven't played it yet since I picked it up for PC. But uh, you know, this one plays really nice with the joystick. Oh. Uh, it's definitely. Uh, 
I mean, if you haven't already played it, it's definitely worth a try for the price. Okay, it looks like they're sending the, the big aces after me here. Look at the plane. If you want to see how the plane looks, looks pretty cool. Not the to play in this way, but uh, you can definitely play third person. It's kind of fun I sometimes too. All right, there you have it. That's the uh, that's Tom Clancy's Hawks on PC with three monitors. Uh, if you've got a three monitor setup and you like this kind of game, I can't think of uh, too much not to recommend it.